What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. So, the calm after the storm. I know I'm not talking about today's topic. I know my hat's probably crooked. I have no idea what's going on. But, thank you, everybody, for checking in on me Friday night through all day yesterday. Uh, just some damage done to the roof of the house. You guys can see in the picture, it's just one spot. Uh, it was a mess. A complete mess. Um, never made it to the awesome flea market card show. I don't even know if it went on, to be honest. I was on my way yesterday. I noticed when I was pulling out, uh, some damage at the top. So, long story short, I was looking around. I seen, like, geese on people's houses, these big black crows and stuff. And I was, like, looking. I'm like, oh, man, I got a bird up in my house, too. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> and, you know, at the peak. So, pulled out. This is the back side of my house, by the way. So... Driving backward, you know, pulling out backwards and stuff in. I'm like, man, it looks kind of square up there. I'm like, oh, man, I got a flap loose up there. So I'm driving. Uh, I was going to meet somebody at the flea market and drop off some cards for him and stuff. And he wasn't feeling well. So I turned around, like, let me go back and look at the neighborhood and stuff. Started looking like, man, there's a lot of people missing shingles. I'm fortunate. Little did I know when I got home and I went to go onto my front porch in my rocks are on the side of the house, there was a big shingle laying there. I'm like, oh, crap. So I run out to the back of my house and notice I got shingles missing. So, yeah, that's just a little picture of it all. Had a gentleman come out late yesterday on his way home. He's going to do some patch jobs up there, stuff like that. But it's weird, the shingles I have, don't be, when you look at these pictures, it looks like a lot of them's lifted. It's just the way these shingles are. It's some kind of wave effect. I forget what they called it, but um, everything else is good, man. We're all safe here. Pug's good, stuff like that. But, you know, just money. I mean, it's going to be cost me less than my deductible. Um, so, at least they'll get done tomorrow. I just got to call a guy in the morning. He's going to come in and do the work uh, while I'm teleworking from home. But got to get stuff done because we got rain coming in this week and we do not need water in the house. But again, thank you everybody for checking in on me and stuff like that down here. There was a lot worse homes that got hit than mine down here. There were trees down all over the place. We still have people without power in my county. Um, I think we were sitting at like 38%. People didn't have it. Now we're down to around like 12 or something like that. Hopefully those people uh, get their power back on. I know people ran out and got generators yesterday from all over because it, it was cold in the evenings down here. It got real cold. So, very fortunate for minimal damage out there, you know. Maybe $1,000, I would say, worth of damage is going to have to be fixed tomorrow. So, no card show videos this week. Probably won't be another card show video until late this month because there's nothing close near me. But, I wanted to just give everybody, you know, the thumbs up on to it all. We, we made it with What Not Live. We had to start later. Um, I know you guys probably... Heard me stop and sometimes doing the whatnot things. I was like, man, that wind's still kicking up there. It's got to die down. But, yeah, we're not through all the storms yet. Stuff's still coming through uh, this week. And then towards the end of the month, we got that. They call it like a warming something hitting the North Pole. It's going to push all this cold air down, yada, yada, yada. But I'm not a meteorologist. I just know it's time that <laughs> we're going to have some more bad weather coming. But internet guys, you guys ready for the video today? I'm ready to get into the video. All right, let me pull this picture down. Hey, I, I, well, I don't want to ask us on here. I was going to say because uh, I was going to ask a roofing question, but I don't know if we have any roofers. If anybody's a roofer, email me, extremecarbreaks at gmail.com. I got a question. I mean, it's not I don't trust my guy doing my house and stuff like that, but I've had now a couple people tell me something, and it makes sense, and I'm just curious. All right, boom. Today's video, we're into it now, guys. We're into it. So check this out. People have been pulling Adley Rushman top certified autographs without the sticker auto. <laughs> I heard about this. Charles, thank you for sending this to me. Just I haven't had a chance to do this uh, video onto this. A lot prepping for the Whatnot Card Show coming up here on the 24th. You guys know about that time. I will have over... Oh gosh, probably close to 150 items loaded by then because you got to have them loaded two to T, like everything in descriptions and all that. A little bit more in depth than what I already do compared to most people doing card one, auction one, stuff like that. But man, Tusk Fanatics, you need to get your heads out your asses. I'm just going to come out and say it. 
That's just horrible. We're just keeping getting more and more stuff. I see Jeff Wilson, the sports card investor guy. Oh, I would never follow any of his investment advice at all, to be honest. Um, talking all this fanatics tops, good stuff, like these long... I can't even watch them because I get annoyed. But how they're going to change the game and be good and do all this great stuff for the hobby. How about instead of talking about it, you guys just do it? You know? Because you guys have more hiccups coming out. And hiccups is me being politically nice right now. And how about you just do it and not worry about publishing and, you know, getting all the trendy hashtag stuff, making yourself all look good PR. Just do it for the people. You don't have to sit there and just advertise and say, oh, we're going to be the best. We're going to do this and this. Just do it. We'll notice. Trust me. Anybody's been doing this for a while, we'll notice. We'll do the talking for you. You don't need to do the talking for yourself. If you want to talk, respond to people that have issues. It's just a thing that's been irking me now for a while and it's just getting more and more ridiculous. Guys, if you're one of the people that pulled one of these Adley Rushmans that do not have a autograph on it, I'm curious. Are you gonna are they giving you guys replacements? Do you have to mail the card in? Then they're gonna slap a sticker on it. Just curious, more to the story onto it. I haven't done a whole lot of research into it, but I know these are being pulled. And it's just craziness. I'm guessing the card has to be numbered in the back. I don't have a back picture. I know somebody's going to ask me about that too. Just was given a front picture of it. But they need to fix it. They need to start getting what they're doing out there correct. Stop being in the media for bad stuff. And just fix yourselves. We don't ask for a lot in the hobby. No, actually we probably do. But... We just need to get this simple stuff right. Like, right sticker autos on the right freaking card. How about putting stickers on the right card? I mean, let us worry about your little trim stuff and everything else out there. You guys just at least get the basics down first before you start talking about how you're going to do all this good. Ridiculous, I tell you. Ridiculous. But all right, guys. That's it for this video. I just want to give you guys an update after the storm and talk a little bit about <laughs> this card in particular uh, i know there's been a couple of them floating out there that have not had their sticker autos on it at all and i wasn't too sure if anybody watching this channel was one of them just curious on to uh what the outcome is going to be you can either post it on a comment and i'll pin it to the top so everybody can see if not if you want to be more discreet about it, you can email me extreme card breaks at gmail.com um, and then I'll just talk about it later on. I'll leave everybody your information and stuff out. I understand about privacy and stuff on to it, but just curious offhand what they're going to end up doing on to it. Are you going to get like, you know, a free jumbo box or something like that, like they did with the mess up on the original autos? And uh, what was that definitive? I think it was definitive. Pretty sure it was definitive now. All right, guys, I am out. Take care. Hopefully, everybody was safe with the storms going through. Um, man, it's a wicked, wicked day that day. Wicked day. Eight hours of wind, gust, and steady squall winds of 60 to high of 80 miles per hour. All right, guys, I am out. Catch y'all later.